With Virginia's rich history, it is no surprise that intriguing tales from hundreds of years ago are still told today. That's right, and one in particular creeps up around Halloween and then again in July. And News 3's Angela Bohan introduces us to the Witch of Pungo. The legend of Grace Sherwood, also known as the Witch of Pungo, has been around for hundreds of years. You can see the statue here dedicated to her. This book was written in the 70s, and now a new book is being written. And just to my side, Witch Duck Road. A wonderful, magical book for uh, children of all ages. John Chapman recalls sharing precious moments with the late author, Louisa Kyle, of The Witch of Pongo. Louisa and I enjoyed many afternoons together uh, talking about Virginia history. And that history continues to draw locals to events like this, a lecture by Virginia Beach native and historian Scott Moore, who's writing a different book about Grace Sherwood. Moore told me Sherwood was quite the troublemaker back in her days, often being sued by her Pungo neighbors for slander. What did her accusers say? Many believed she was performing witchcraft, responsible for wilting cotton crops and cursing animals. So this was a time when people deeply believed in magic. They deeply believed in the devil and the power of evil. They, they fervently believed their neighbors and individuals could use the supernatural to impact the world around them. In July of 1706, a judge ordered Sherwood to a trial by water. She was tied up and tested by ducking in the Lynn Haven River. Historians say she floated and escaped her bonds, which was proof she was a witch. The stories have been told generation after generation. Legend has it the witch of Pongo returns in spirit every July to the site of her witch trial. Grace Sherwood's basically had a 300 year life where she's kept changing and evolving. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3. So the Grace Sherwood statue is located near Independence Boulevard and Witch Duck Road. And if you're up for more spooky stories, Paranormal tours are happening tonight and this weekend at the Thoroughgood House, not too far from where the Witch of Pungo was ducked.